Hello. In this video today, I would like to use a bit of a emboss. So this is something that we have within Clayu in Matrix Go. We don't talk very often about it, but depending on what kind of designs, it can be very, very handy. So I will start with the ring. Actually, what I would like to do with this ring is just get a picture with uh, the Rocky Mountains and add the Rocky Mountains with a texture on this ring. So let me show you how to do this. So first I will extrude this curve. The width of this ring will need to be quite big, like something probably even a bit more like this. I think that like this will be okay. Now what I will do next, I will use from transform the auto base because now with the auto base we can let me just put it in the middle. Doesn't need to be perfect because this at the end of the day this is just a reference. All right. So now let me change this to another layer because I don't need it now here in the middle. Okay. And now what I would like to do is just make a texture with the Rocky Mountains, as I was saying. So first thing that I will do is I will just type picture in the command line. So it will allow me to open the Rocky Mountains. Then the only thing that you need to do is just place and start to grow the picture. I will do something like this. And now I will place it just in the middle. Something that actually I should do that I didn't did before. If I don't want to have the end, once I do the wrap up from all that I will have with this auto place using the smart flow, probably what I should do that I haven't done is change the seam because then it will open at the bottom. So let me show you that. So if I go to the change seam and I change it to the very bottom, and now when I use extrude, I say that I want not the one original, I wanted this one. Now you see everything is at the bottom. So this is much better now. And uh, I will do that the same. The auto base, I will do it with this one. Because as I said, now I will show you once I do the wrap, I will get the end, these corners here at the very bottom. If I wouldn't do that, I would get the texture that I will be working, wrap up, and the ends will be at the very top. That is something that I don't want to have. Okay, so I will go to the top view and I will start to draw the profile of these rocky mountains. So I will come from here. Let me first get this one and put it into this layer and lock it. So now I will also disable those snaps and I will use the smart code. All right, much easier. I won't go in a lot of detail. I know that for anyone climbing this, this detail is very important, but lucky me, I'm just a jeweler that I don't need to do all this working and I can do it on a simple curve. All right. Now I will just close this curve. Now let me use the snaps. Okay, so now let's trim these curves. So the first one that I will cut is this one. Now I can join this, this, and this. And now I will just cut this part and this part and join. So I will have a close curve, All right? So select planet close curve. This is what we need. All right, so now I just can remove, where do I have it, this picture. This is the relief that I want to use to make a texture. Now, what I will do is just select the clay U, and here we have the emboss. So I click on emboss, and as you can see, the command line is already telling you, welcome to clay U. And now I can create it as big as I want. I think that like this is okay. This amount of points, it's enough. We can always can go back here to add more resolution if we need. I click validate. And now here we have different options to use. The one that I will use today is the texture. We, we know that we have one that is dynamic, but today I want to show you this one from the emboss because we have different options to use here. I will use this curve. And the texture is okay. So as you can see, it's already showing me the cut that I'm doing because it's getting all the limits of this curve. I will change the texture. 
Here you can add as many as you want. If you want to add another one, you, you just need to click here and add this one. Today I will add, probably I will use this one that it's called Groovy. Let's see how does it looks like. Now it says that the relief will be one millimeter. I think that it, it's okay, so I will click Validate. And now I will refresh to see how does it looks like. And there we go. So we have this close mesh with all this relief that I believe that it's very, very good. So I will validate. And now what it's doing is creating the mesh. All right, so now the next thing that we need to do is to start to work with uh, a smart flow. So the, what always you need to keep in mind is that we want all this area within the surface that we created when we used the auto base. So first, let me just be sure because what I can do is just adapt it a bit because if I don't do that, I will face some problems. All right, so now let me go to the smart flow and I will say that the surface base is this one and the surface destination is this one. And now this builder opens up and I will say that this is the area that I want to apply. So as you can see now, I have just what I was looking for. Now, when I look at this, honestly, I feel like the texture is not exactly what I want. I would like to have something smoother. So let's do something. Before I go further, why don't we open again Clayu and from Clayu we use the sculpt. So I will get the sculpt. Again, it's saying, welcome to Clayu. Select objects. I will select this object. And now what I can do is just use the smooth. So if I click on the smooth, as you can see, he's saying smooth. Now I have a radius. I will make it a smaller and the intensity also, I will decrease it because if I want it more, then I can go to more. And now let's see what happens. All right, you see that now it's smoothing everything. So this is what I want. Okay, so I start like this. So now it's smoother. All these areas at the corners, it's nicer if I smooth all of them that, like this. You see now everything looks much, much better. Once I got it like this, I will click on OK. Do you want to keep the original object? I will say no, because I like the one that I got. And now I like it because everything is smoother. And I will do again what I was doing. So I will go back to Transform. I will use the Smart Flow. The surface base is this one, the destination is this one, and the objects to apply are these ones. So now I really like it. Now you see that there is this part. What I can do is just do something like this, and now it closes just at the end. Okay, so I think that now we are in a better position. Now that I'm done with the relief of this mountain, what I will do is just this and I will bring it into another layer and I will hide it because now the only thing that to me is left to do is the following so I will select this edge so we have the duplicate edge and on this edge I will apply a profile placer I will use the new frontal and I will use one square uh, square like this and let me activate auto sweep so I can see in real time how it will look like. So now this is height two millimeters I will go for 1.5 and what I will do also is just let me see what happens if I if I do the mirror. Okay. So the first thing that I will do is just do what we have done many, many times. Extract the ISO curve. I'll put it just in the middle. Let me see what was the width. Profile width 1.8. Yeah, it's okay. Because now what I will apply to this curve is gems on curve. And I will use the one point. This is one millimeters. origin so all of them are looking in the same direction the target object 
is this. And the last thing that I will do is use the table place, placement method. Because the only thing that I need to do now is just select the gems, add, I will use the channel cutter. Now I will do the volume difference in this part. And this I will use the settings, the prompt placer. Fantastic. And what I will also do is select cutters. Now I see that I didn't have gems all the way around, but as you know, this is not a problem because matrix goal is parametric. So if I go to the gem moon curve, probably I have them positioned to 0.89. I need to go to one and now everything will recalculate. Now I will go to solid, Boolean difference, even this, be okay. There we go. So now once I have this, I can select this part, this part, and this part, and just make a mirror. All right. So we almost have it. Now what I would like to do is just add a few more gems just in this area here. So to do that, what I will do is just create an area where you, I can put all the gems. So I need to create here some thickness to place all the gems. So let me work on this. An easy way to do what the area where we want to place the stones is just let me select this one and let me hide everything that I have here. Probably I should keep the curve, but I don't have it. But because I know that this is what we have been using, what I can do is I will duplicate this surface. So I'll do Control C, Control V. So I will have two of these surfaces. So now I'll have another copy of this because it's an outer base, probably you see. This is another outer base. So I will select this one and I will move it to another layer, this layer. Okay. Now I will hide this and from the top view, I will, I don't need to be very precise now, but what I will do is just with the smart curve, just cut this area and close and now I will trim this it's okay if I load the history and now what I will do is just bring back everything that we have been hiding and well first what I will do is just on this one do an offset surface of 0.7 and now I will use the smart flow, the surface base, this one, surface destination is this one, object is this one, and there we go. So now we have a nice surface yeah, we can use to place the stones. All right, again, I will move this all into this layer. All right, so now because we have from gems the new gems placer, it's so easy to add gems that I will use this one. So I will go like this and you will see how easy it is to place stones. And in areas like this one, I really like it because it allows you to just play. You see here, this is too big. So with the Shortcuts, I can make them bigger. And in just a few minutes, you can add as many as you want. And because we have the magnet, you don't need to worry about going one on top of the other. Okay, so now that we have stones everywhere, if we want to add some more, 
we can add them here. So for instance, here I'm missing some, so always I can use the Gemma Springs. I don't want the magnet and I will add a gem. Yeah, here. And this one, I will make it smaller here. Okay. Now what happens if I use from settings the buffy prongs? Select gems, select surface. Okay, so not bad. I will validate. The only thing that I will do is just remove the ones that I don't like, like this one. And now the only thing that I need to do is just use the prong on surface and add the ones that I, that I am missing. Okay, so still some that needs to be removed. But everything else, it's okay. So now I would say that the ring is ready. So we have the shape of the mountains. And now it's just a matter about creating a nice render. So probably I still have here the surface that can be hide. All right, so now we can get this ready for the render. Um, because we have the new materials, I don't need to make the holes for these ones. So I will go to render, render studio. I will use the new materials. I will do it everything in white gold. And I will use the this one that is like matte. I will select this and this, and I will use, I will apply this material. You know that if I go to render, I will see it. I will see the, everything in in rows. So I notice also that I need to apply it to this one also. Let's go to here and now let's play a bit with the gems. Probably these ones, these ones, and these ones. I will. Use them blacks and these ones, and I will apply that one. Right. Let's see now. That looks nicer. All right, so we'll use it like this. So you can see the leaf, and you can see all the different gems and everything, meaning or showing like this would be the sky. So it's a beautiful contrast. So we will keep it like this. Now what I will do is just go for a higher resolution. So I will go for 500 and a bigger 